What's going on everyone, ANCAP24 here back with another video out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook where we're looking at the gun trips tight end offset. We have done a couple videos already on tight end in and I'm going to put those at the back of this video as for any links if anybody hasn't seen them already. We did one yesterday where we showed how to beat cover four drop and cover three uh, attacking matching principles to get a wide open tight end, uh, gives you 15, 20 yards um, really easily. And then in the past, about a couple weeks ago, we, we did tight end in again against cover two and showed you how we get that middle route to get open for an easy um, catch along the sidelines. And I'll also link that video, like I said, at the end. So that way you can look at both of them. But today what we're going to do is look at cover three box. OK, I'm going to show you one that needs a route apprentice and one that doesn't in case you're um, in a situation where you don't have the ability to have a route apprentice. I want to make sure everybody can benefit with this video. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off with the route apprentice. We're going to put the A on a um, corner route. We're going to block our running back. We're going to put the B on a streak. And then I like to take the Y and put him on a smart route. The reason why is I want that Y to have a 10-yard vertical route before he goes over because that's going to help you with not having as much precision on where you hike this ball. So that way he goes up the field and does not get into the cornerback's um zone per se uh, in order to get this open so all we're going to do is we're going to move this guy over we're going to hike it as soon as we can as he passes the tight end trying to get him to get as close to the uh, hash marks as possible throw this over their head and you got yourself an easy one place score now that was something that we didn't do against base align when you do against base align it's actually easier because you can see that the player comes from a further distance he's not going to move towards the middle of the field when i do the motion so i want to make sure you see this and what you're going to again see is we're going to take out the outside player when it comes to the outside third with the A route. Using this route, the Y, to get up the field. Once you see that he's up the field, you throw this ball. Unfortunately, we got some pressure inaccurate because we had somebody coming at us. We'll try it one more time so you can uh, see you know, a much better rep of this. But um, you're going to see that he's going to be open. It's obviously predicated on making sure that you have the ability to get some pressure um you know uh, block the pressure but what you're going to notice here is that it is very consistent and works better against when people baseline um just because of how much more open it's going to be this was base aligned you can see that we're going to be able to really torch this guy because the guy has to come from a further distance okay the first one we showed you was non-baseline second one was base aligned next thing i want to show you just to make sure that you understand this this is going to be something that will also be protect the sticks okay so what we're going to do here is um, let's just reset this so we can see it. We're going to protect the sticks. And what that's going to do is basically allow you to um, make sure that if people are turning off those matching principles from the last video um, in order to stop that play, we're going to be able to still beat them with this. Okay, so protect the sticks is not going to make this be any better or any worse. You can see that it's just going to be the same way. Okay. So this is an easy cover three bomb. What I mean by easy, it, it's just so hard for, unless a user is waiting for that, they're gonna have a hard time stopping it. Now, what I like to do is mix it up with this second way of doing it. And this is one without any um, hot route master or anything. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna block our tight end and we're gonna use the RB as our way of dragging the player down. Okay, so the same thing. All we're going to do is put the B on a streak, Y on the um, the uh, smart route. Now, X can be anything, guys. You know, literally, I'm just leaving the X on its route just because it doesn't matter. But if you want to put him on, you know, something like a corner route or a fade stop, anything just to give something different, you can put him on a, you know, a um, post corner. But since this is going to be a non-hot um, route play, I'll just put him on a smart route. In, okay. Now, watch what happens here. The RB is going to pull the player down. So you're going to see here that the RB is going to pull this player down. And when he does that, you're going to be able to bomb him over the top. So let me show you an Insta replay what you're looking for because it doesn't look as apparent. And I think that this one, even though um, it's probably less common to use, people tend to leave these players because it looks like they're covered, right? So watch how this running back right here is going to go up the field and it looks like 23 is on him it looks like 23 is on him next thing you know he's going to stop and play this player and now you have that ability to throw it over his head right so i'll show it to you one more time just so you can see it again what we're going to do is put um the tight end on a block b on a streak y on a smart route 
We're going to motion this guy over, hike it as soon as we can, try to get him as close to those hash marks as, as, as we can. And this time we're going to actually have to step in the pocket and you're going to see here that you're going to be able to throw that ball over the top. Now, I do suggest if you can, try to roll out because it's going to be an easier throw for you if you don't have a, a huge arm quarterback. But you can see how well this route will work just because of the way that he pulls down the safety on this. You don't want that tight end on that route, right? So here we go again. You can see that he's going to pull it. Once you see that that guy d dips, now you can throw it over his head and get the easy catch, right? So it's just one of those deals, guys, that you want to get your timing on this. But you will notice that that wheel route will take the player down. So something I mix in for a cover three bomb, you know, especially when they try to do protect the sticks, thinking that they're going to protect the ability of um, taking away the cover four, or cover three beater we showed you on yesterday's video, and um, get them when they we don't expect it. You know, most people are looking for posts to come across the, the field to the short side of the field. This one is going to be a wide side field bomb that we can kind of get them on two different ways. So appreciate it, guys. Hit a like button if you like this play, and can um, you know hit that subscribe if you haven't already. We'll come back tomorrow with another play out of this um, formation, just to kind of continue the series a little bit, and um, you know give me suggestions if you want another formation in Seattle that you want me to break down um, after we get through this. We'll probably do you know a few videos on each formation, just to kind of give you a well-rounded scheme as we head into Madden 21. Now, if you like this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.